Hello and welcome to the final tutorial in this series. We'll be modeling a chandelier. And I'm using Blender 2.71, which is the newest version. Now, this, as for the chandelier, I've taken some reference images to help with getting the shapes and such correct. But we're gonna be breaking this down into pieces rather than trying to model everything as a whole which can be a cumbersome process depending on your level. So for now, to make it easy on everybody, we're just gonna start with, we're gonna load up an image for a starting point. Actually, I forgot one thing to do. I forgot to change this into UV image editor. Recenter my cursor. And then I'm going to pick that image and load it into Blender, pin it so that it doesn't uh, minimize on whatever we do. And then lastly, add my screencast keys so you can follow with me. I'm going to delete everything in the scene, go into orthographic, and I'm going to use a cylinder. And I'm going to use about 12 vertices. Now, kind of going to be eyeballing the shapes since sometimes, you know, images aren't really spot on. So I'm going to scale this down and scale it up. And move it up a little bit. So now, what we're going to do, um, I'm going to fine tune that. So, oops, uh, scale that upward a little bit. Now we're gonna do yeah, Control R for loop cut. And then we're just going to bevel until we get it right in the center. And then we're gonna select the whole face loop with Alt, right click, E for extrude, it's S, Shift Z, scale in a little bit. And that's a pretty good number. We're going to add some edges on the outside to help with retaining the shape. Uh, I can get right there. Add a loop cut in the center, if you use your scroll wheel. And then we're going to add some in the middle. Oops. Add about three. All right, so that's looking about good. Now we just need to get this little section right here. And we're gonna do that by, at first we're gonna add a loop cut here. And we're gonna do the same thing up here. Then we're gonna hold shift, hold, right click. And then we're gonna control B for bevel. Add another loop cut in the center. Then we're gonna select these center ones that's close by. And then we're just going to hit S, Z. And then we're going to do Control 1 to add a modifier. And we're going to go to our modifiers and change it to about 2. And then we're going to change our smoothing, our shading to smooth. And we'll definitely modify it to get a bit more closer if right now. We just got the basic shape. So next, we're gonna move on to getting the top and bottom shape with inset. I for inset. And then we're just gonna do a scale, which is, I mean, we're going to extrude. E, cancel, S, Z. Let's do a bit more. Well, right there is fine. Now what we're gonna do. Hmm. We're gonna add one more inset. All right. So now what we're gonna do. We're gonna add another loop that's gonna convert it to a harder edge. Uh, right there. Select that one. Control B for bevel. Uh, 
All right, excellent. So now we got that part situated, the top and bottom piece. Now we just want to get this part up here. So we're going to select this middle face and do shift, shift S cursor to select it. Actually, we're going to use that. So shift D P. Um, let's see. And it's already nicely scaled. So we're going to tab into edit mode, select everything. Uh, we're going to extrude it going upward. And that's going to front view. Looks like we can scale it a bit more. So I'm going to We'll select this thing and press period and shift here we go and then I'm going to scale everything on that point control comma to change it back to normal so now I'm going to add an edge right here that'll help with helping it stay hard and then I'm going to do the same up here and then we're going to try to find a way to shape it out use proportional editing actually it's going outward so I'm gonna add one and then right here I'm gonna select everything upward and then I'm gonna scale it hmm probably not up here so let's hold shift uh, Actually, it's just circle select and right click. I mean, middle click. And just scale it out here a little bit. Actually, we can move that up to kind of modify it a bit. And we're going to do the exact same up here. And it looks like we need one more edge in the center. And we can always just, you know, come back to this later in terms of modifying that. The next one I'm going to do, I'm going to extrude it going upward. And let me get rid of this edge because it's not really doing much for me. E, cancel, S, shift Z. Oh, take proportional editing off. S, shift Z, go outward. So next, we're just trying to keep it simple for right now. You can always fine tune it, or I'll just fine tune it a little bit if it's looking off to me a little, you know, at the moment. All right. So we're going to do the exact same thing. To save some time, I'm going to just copy this part right here. Shift D, P for separate. And I'm just going to drag it upward. And then I'm going to face mode. And then I'm just going to start on this new section. And then I'm just going to scale it out just a hair. And then I'm going to scale upward again. Next, I'm going to extrude it, cancel, and shift Z. Oops, that's a little too much. All right, good, that's looking decent. So now we need another image to finish it. So where's the bottom? I'll say that's about, hmm, there we go. I like this one. Okay, so we're gonna continue to still have it as a separate part. Or rather, let's see. We got this part. Actually, I'm still going to have it connected. Because it's not separated yet. So, I'm going to extrude going downward. 
on the z-axis and let's see about right here and another loop cut onto our vertex selection loop and also when you're just flipping through your, your uh, selection type you just press control tab which is the shortcut and just bring that down so next go into our face move face selection and looks like this has a little bit of a lift to it so that's extrude cancel s for scale and we're just going to go outward pretty much it's, it's a repeat session scale extru i mean extrude scale extrude scale And we're just going to do that with an also bevel going in the center. And then bring this inner one downward. And then we're just going to make this hard edge. And let's see what we got. Oh, and one thing I forgot to do here. Is, let's see, bevel this part and add one in the center just to help it retain its shape. Now let's look at it. There we go. All right, so looking good so far. We're going to move on to this last part of the body of our chandelier, and let's see. It looks. Hmm. I'm going to copy another part of this from it. Shift D, P for selection. I mean, P to separate it. <laughs> I don't know why I keep saying the wrong thing. All right. So now. We're gonna do. We're gonna get the bottom part going on. We we'll worry about all the details, or I mean, it's not necessary right now. But let's see. So I'm gonna bring that down, and we're gonna get that. We're gonna we're gonna get that groove in there. So I'm just gonna scale this. The scaling kind of changes. And I'm gonna add one more loop cut. Hmm. It's kind of going outward, so I'm. I gotta change how it's going. And that's just proportional editing. Okay, now that, that looks fine to me for right now. And now, I'm gonna add an edge. Well, I mean, I'm gonna drag it all the way down. And we're gonna extrude this outward. I'm going to do the exact same thing, just pull that in, and we're going to do the same here, a little bit of a bevel, and now we're just going to extrude down, again on the z-axis, and we're going to scale it outward, add one more loop cut, and then we're just going to modify this one. because it's starting to come outward a bit more. And another extrusion, constrained to Z at the Z axis. And we're going to repeat the exact same thing. And we want to kind of pull that inward. 
I almost forgot to add these edges over here, control B. Add some more edges. And then we're gonna finish it off. Scale it out. Uh, think about right there. Add one more. Bring it down a bit. The shape is not really looking too good for me for right now. But I'm. Uh, we're definitely gonna modify it, or I'll modify it. You know. So now, the last part is to chamfer these and chamfer this last part. Let's see, it's looking a bit... Hmm. I'm gonna definitely have to smooth in some of these out. But for a good part of it for being phase one, I would say that's actually complete. So, if, that's looking good. Okay, so this is the end of the first tutorial, which is just modeling the body of the chandelier. I hope you enjoyed it, and look forward to the next one. Peace.